Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett and today is 3D Model Monday. So today's design is going to be a throwback to my younger years coming home from school and watching Nickelodeon. So what better old Nickelodeon show to pick than Invader Zim, and specifically, Gurr. So let's get started. I'm gonna sing the Doom song now! Doom, 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 doom! Alright guys, well here you have it. This is Gurr. I modeled this in Fusion 360. Um, I mostly use sketches and the Revolve tool to get the um, different curves that he has. I brought in a reference image that I could find that was the most straight on for him and I actually found it quite difficult to bring a 2D character into a 3D space. Um, there was a few things that just didn't seem to work as well, but I think I got him figured out pretty well. And then after I was done modeling him, I actually positioned him so he'll sit flat on a surface like this, um, just like this picture here. Then I downloaded it and prepared it for printing. Um, and I designed it to print in one piece, so that means that supports will be necessary for his head. Um, his body and arms and legs will print with no supports needed, but his head, the bottom part of his head and the eyes here will need supports. I thought I'd try something new for that. So I imported him into Mesh Mixer and had it put some tree supports on there. And that worked okay. There's a little bit of artifacting under there that you can see. And they, they were really easy to remove and didn't add too much to the print time. So that was pretty cool. But I think if I were to do it again, I would actually slice him up and then um, glue him together afterwards just to get the print to come out um, a little bit cleaner. Also something to keep in mind is that these connection points for his legs and his hands are extremely tiny. Just be aware that they are quite a bit more fragile than some of the other points around his body. So after adding supports in Mesh Mixer, I sent it over to my Robo 3D R1, and I printed this using Hatchbox White PLA, and I printed this at a 0.3 millimeter layer height just to save on some time. Obviously, you could go higher if you wanted more detail. I also used 20% infill. And then I didn't use a raft or anything, but as I said before, I did create the supports in Mesh Mixer. And then after I printed it, I handed it off to my wife for painting. Now there wasn't much sanding needed, um, just cleaning up some of the rough spots left from the printer. And then she moved right into priming it. She just used white plastic primer. Then once the primer was completely dry, she sprayed on the hammered metal to get this gray sort of finish. And then after that, the only step left was to paint the details on. Um, and Gurr's pretty easy to paint. He's just a couple colors. He's got this like teal color um, for his eyes and the balls on his arms and stuff like that. And then the black for his mouth. And that's pretty much it. And for those, she just used water-based acrylic paint with a paintbrush. And then after that, you've got a really nice Gur that will just sit flat on a desk. Well guys, there you have it, Gur from Invader Zim. If you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up and get subscribed if you're not already. And then if you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. Alright, thanks for joining me guys. See you next time.